Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Wigging Out with Bobby Z. This Wiggy Weavy Wednesday is brought to you by the International Beauty Show. Yay! Um, I went this weekend and I just got back. Um, I think it says Monday because it's actually Monday. I'm not posting this till Wednesday, but I just got home, so it's time to cut this shit off. Bagger. Um, in case you're wondering, yes, this is a different view than you guys are used to. I rearranged my apartment a little bit. So I moved my desk unit to the other side and I have a little dining alcove over here, but it's now my wig alcove. So I'm going to slide up out of the way so you guys can see. Ta-da! This is the wig area now, which is great because now I don't have to wake up and look at hairspray in the morning and all of that stuff. And then this big old cardboard box here is all the stuff that I bought today at the beauty show. Um, I did go to IMATS last week and I was worried about this week because I was like, well, I got a whole bunch of stuff at IMATS. Is there really going to be anything for me to get? And there was. Um, the one thing I really, 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 really wanted, though, was a lighted makeup mirror. You can choose the different kinds of lights on it for when I do my drag makeup. Except nobody at IBS had them. I walked around the floor at least three or four times. Nobody had them anywhere. So I ended up just walking to Beauty 35 on my way to the train because it's on the, that corner anyway. And I picked one up there. It would have been nice to have gotten one at the show because it probably would have been like 30 bucks versus 55, which is what I paid. But it's worth it. It's something I need and it's for work. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you guys everything I bought today. My rule when I go to these kind of trade shows and fairs and everything is to only get a certain amount of money out of the bank machine and then only spend that amount of money. And then when I'm done, I'm done. I have to go home. Now, I ran into the same kind of problem that I ran into at IMATS where I get to the end of the day. I have like 40 or 50 bucks left in my wallet and I find something that's like 75 or 90. In today's case, it was 90 and I had $50 left. And so I had to use my credit card. I really should have done a haul video from IMATS. I didn't think about it until after I put everything away. And then it's like, oh, well, I can't really do one now because I put everything away. So I decided to do one for the beauty show since I think I actually got a lot more than what I got at IMATS anyway. So it worked out. This was actually the last thing that I bought. It was the most surprising thing to find at the hair show but it was the best investment that I made of the day. It's called the Lipo Express New Your New Figure Body Shaper. I do have some friends that specialize in corsetry, but I don't have the money to spend to get corset made, especially for me, as fierce as that would be. So I saw these guys, and it's great. I mean, this is a big girl, because I'm a big girl. I got the size 2X. I was originally hesitant when she opened it and let me try it on at the show because I couldn't get it. I was like, this is really small. And she went, Whoa, and she hooked it on the bottom. She was like, no, it's not get the size. And I was like, okay. So I got it in a two X. I just tried it on. It looks great because being a chubby guy, it pushes all of this stuff up and then you get greater boobs. So it's a win win. It does have some boning in it. It, it closes in the front with hooks and eyes. Um, the hooks and eyes are a little hard to get with, but once you start to get into it, you'll get into it fine. And it's very comfortable. The boning isn't too hard. It's not steel or crazy hard boning. It's flexible. And yeah, I thought it was great. It's maybe a little short for me because I am a man and I have a long torso. It is a little short for me, but with spanks and tights, I'm sure it'll be perfect. When I bought the body shaper, they told me to try their... Um, hypothermic firming gel. I'm most excited to try this because I have lost about 40 pounds recently and I'm going to be losing about 40 more hopefully. So firming lotion is definitely a good idea for me. There's my badge. I found it. Yay. Then I bought this, which is a makeup brush belt. Um, I have been doing a lot more makeup recently. So I figured if I bought an, a belt for my brushes, it would make it easier for me to keep track of where they are and what I'm doing. Also, because I am a, um, a somewhat fat kid, still a former fatty fat kid, I'm used to adjusting things all the way huge. So if you're a big guy or a big girl, like they're the Royal Angnickel brush roll belt will fit you because it's, like I said, I am, I'm 6'1", I'm a large, extra large in shirts. My tummy is like 45, 46 inches. And this 
has a lot of space still to go and I don't have it on super tight. So this is definitely a plus for me being able to find a belt that fits. So while I was at the Royal Langnickel um, counter, I bought some brushes. I went and bought a whole bunch of brushes from them two years ago. I didn't go to the beauty show last year. I missed it. But this year I went and I was able to get some Royal Langnickel brushes. They were also at iMats and I'm pretty sure they're going to be at the makeup show too next month. Um, I think I'm pretty good for makeup and stuff right now, so I don't need to buy anything else. I already spent a lot of money between these two shows. So I'm probably not going to go to the makeup show. I'm saying this now. I'm probably going to go. So I bought a synthetic medium eye shaper. This is a mini flat smudge brush. And then this is, this is a cream shadow brush, which I'm excited to use this with eyeshadow base and cream eyeshadows as I build up eye fluff brush and then last I bought this which is an angled shaper brush and so those are my five brushes I bought from Warren Langnickel I love their brushes they're great several different lines of brushes from cheap student brushes to expensive professional grade brushes they're also really great because you can sign up on their website and you can get their pro pricing and all of that. So that's always a plus. I've yet, I am a member of their pro pricing program. I've not ordered anything online from them personally. I've ordered them for shows and stuff, but never personally. But their brushes are great and they're worth the investment. And if you get them at the show, they're way cheaper. I also found these. I've been trying to find these for a while. So I bought two sets. They are eyebrow templates and they're by Click International. And there's four different sizes and shapes. I thought that these were great. I've been looking for them, especially because I am new to makeup and I'm new to drag, so all of that. So I figured while I'm trying to figure out what my face is gonna look like, I should pick up some eyebrow stencils. Eventually I won't use them. I'll probably use them three times and figure out what I wanna do with my eyebrows. I think they're worth the investment. I've been looking for eyebrow stencils for months now, trying to find them. And I haven't been able to find them anywhere. Then, of course, I went to the false eyelashes, which I bought a half dozen eyelashes at iMats. I also bought a dozen from a wholesaler here in the city about three weeks ago. So, of course, I had to go get six more. Duh. So, I bought two different styles. I bought the 115. I got three of that because they're long, thick, and full lashes. And I also bought the 114, which are also long and full but they're not a solid straight across. They have a little bit of a like, almost like a, a notch, um, a point cut taken out of them. I also got two boxes of dark glue, um, which my mother wears false eyelashes every day and she wear, she uses the dark glue so she doesn't have to do eyeliner on the top. And a drag queen friend of mine recently said the same thing, use dark glue in addition to eyeliner because of course you want to look painted. So three of each of these, two of these, Ardell was having a special when you bought six of any shit of six lashes, you got a free clear lash adhesive. So not only did I get my two dark and my six pairs of lashes, I also got free tube of clear lash glue, which will come in handy for jewels and stuff like that. I found the Aubrey Morris makeup counter. I bought some lip pencils from them my first year at iMats, and the colors are very strong. They're very silky. They're smooth. I like them. They were having sales on palettes. Yes, my favorite. Makeup palette. Um, I mean, they're not really a palette. It's plastic with the pans just in it. So I'm going to depot these in my oven and put them in my Z palette. Um, but I bought a blush palette because I need more of these neutral brown more of a brown warm kind of blush because all the blushes I own are kind of in this family and then I also bought a mineral this is their mineral powder foundation um you can buy it in a compact but they also had them six on a palette and they had a light set and a dark set so of course I bought the dark set for contouring duh these were 20 bucks a piece if you bought six it was a hundred so you were basically getting one free I had four that I wanted. I had these two, I had another face one, and then I had um, a really pretty neutral eyeshadow palette that I wanted to buy. Except I was only buying four. And I was like, well, that'll be $80. And if I just pick up two more, then it'll only be 100 
but I can't find anything else I want. So I was like, you know what? I'll come back if I can't find any place else that has a neutral palette and I'll get them later. I ended up finding a neutral palette somebody, somewhere else for $10 versus 20. So I ended up working out in my favor. But I got these guys. I'm excited to use these. It's a China Glaze little station. It was, I think, six nail polishes for 15. And then you got a free one as well. So it was seven nail polishes for 15. So that's a little over $2 a piece, which is really good. And I got six different colors. I bought this really pretty, which is called Ruby Pumps. I bought this one for my makeup brushes. I like to color. I'll show you. So this is what I do on all of my brushes. They're by OPI. It's Razzle and Dazzle, which is funny because I was actually doing Chicago at the time and I didn't notice the names of the nail polishes until I got back to my apartment and I went, oh my God, I bought Razzle and Dazzle. That's ridiculous. So I've been on the lookout for colors that are similar to these because they're three years old now. They're running out. Um, I've actually tried to extend them a little bit. So I've poured a top coat in there. Try to mix it up a little bit to get that last bit out if I still could. But yeah, so I have these, which are just, you know, red and silver. And then I put a glittery top coat on top of that. So I bought the Ruby Pump, which is this which is a little more red than what I have on those guys. That's more of a purple, pink, red. This is more of a bright red, but it's fine. I then also got Icicle, which will be my silver for my brushes. Gold Enchantment, which seems to just be a polish with gold glitter in it. It doesn't seem to be a gold polish with gold glitter. It seems to be a clear polish with gold glitter. Golden Meringue which I thought was like a nice base coat kind of color, especially if I'm going to be doing gold. Passion, which is just a gold sort of color. Electrify, which is gold and red glitter. Then for free, they gave me a full size of crushed candy, which I really like. I think that's really pretty. Um, and this is a crackle glaze, actually. So this will go over something and it will crackle, which I've never used crackle glaze before. So I'll probably do a review of this at a later date because um, I've yet to try anything with a crackle in it. The great thing about going to IMATS or IBS or the beauty show is that there's a lot of private label manufacturers. Basically what a private label means is that I can go and say, hey, Bernadette Housedown wants to make her own line of makeup. So I call up this company and say, hey, I want you guys to make private label stuff for me. And basically what it is is they manufacture the product and then they put your name and your logo and everything on their packaging. The great thing about these things, though, is that when they do trade shows and all of that stuff, they have samples. They have examples you can buy. So you can see the packaging. You can tr try the product and all of that. So there's a company called Columbia Cosmetics. Columbia Cosmetics Manufacturing, Inc. These six items for 20 bucks. So I bought three shadows, an eyeshadow base, and um, eyebrow, pen eyebrow liners. This sucks being in sunlight. Uh, this is the color Gilded. It's their B88. Um, it's a really pretty shimmery kind of brown. I was looking a lot at browns and stuff today when I was running around because I realized all the makeup I own is like bright pink, orange, purple, green, blue, blah. No. Like those colors, you know, yes, they're fun to use, but you're going to be using your neutrals and all of that stuff more often. Then I also bought Brown Matte, which as you can tell, is a brown mat. Uh, you can never have too many brown mats, in my opinion. And I also bought a True Black, their eyeshadow base. And the it's also paraben free, as it says on the back. This is just eyeshadow base. It's just um, eyeshadow base. So bought what they call their brush a brow, which is just brow powder. And I bought it in a dark brown and an auburn. This is the fun part. Went to the Morph brushes counter and Encore from YouTube was there. So they had palettes and brushes and cleaner and all of that stuff. I'd seen their individual shadow pans and they came in the little envelope and I was like, okay, I don't have to depot them. That's great. Um, but then I saw that they had palettes too. So I was like, oh, well, it's already in a palette that I don't have to do anything about it. And then I have a new palette to play with. This is their warm neutral palette, as you can see. There's lots and lots of nice, fun, pretty warm uh, colors. 
and th some of them seem to have a little bit of a shimmer to them, but as a whole, they look to be pretty matte. Um, there's also some greens and some grays in there, um, but it's mainly all browns and pinks. I saw this and I thought, oh my God, that's every drag queen's dream. I have to buy it. A foundation palette, and there's dark, there's white, there's two different colors of beige, there's a nice pink in here, and then there's an even lighter one. So this is really going to come in handy for me doing a lot of contouring and highlighting, as you know we do. That's what I'm most excited to play with is my new foundation palette from Morphed Brushes. A friend of mine, my friend Brendalyn Hager, hi dear, she was working the Stilla counter, so I went, looped back around, went and said hi, and they were having a special. You could buy their four Stilla eyeshadow palettes for $40. So that's $20 a palette which is about half of what you would pay at Sephora. They run 37 or 38, I believe. I looked them up to see how much money I saved. However, they ran out of one of them, so I only got three. So I have Stilla in the Moment, I have Stilla in the Light, and I have Stilla in the No. I'm not sure what the fourth one's called is the In the Moment. And they come in their cute little cardboard box. And each one also comes with an exclusive full-size smudge stick waterproof eyeliner pencil plus a how-to lookbook. So, lookbook. And then the pencil is inside the palette right there. Now, these are a little smaller than what I'm used to when I buy palettes. Just the, the, the size of the colors. So, that was my haul today from... The beauty show. I was pretty disappointed though because every year when you go to uh, the beauty show there's tons and tons of stands that have blow dryers and hot rollers and curling irons and all of that stuff and I know that I've seen lighted makeup mirrors much like this. This is the Conair Reflections Home Vanity. I'm sure that I have seen these in the past. I've been to IBS. This was my third year. I missed it last year but I've gone the two years prior and nobody had them. I stopped everywhere that had appliances. I stopped everywhere that had makeup, anywhere that had cases, anybody. And I said, do you have lighted makeup mirrors? And nobody had them. So on my way back to the train, I stopped at Beauty 35 and I picked this up because that was the thing that I needed the most. And it was the thing I didn't get. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my video of my haul from the beauty show today. And I hope you guys will subscribe and um, be sure to add me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. and Add me on all of that social media crap because then you can stalk me and I can stalk you back and we can be friends and all of that. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you would like a custom wig by me or anything like that, be sure to email me. My email will be down in the box as well. So going to include links of all the stuff I talked about today if I'm able to find a distributor or a website for them. I'll link them in the box below as well. Send me some messages, tell me what you want to see, what you want to hear, and maybe I'll do a video about it someday. So until then, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.